Everybody relax. No, I didn't retire. I have been, been busy. No, you've been missing me a lot. I probably would miss me too, honestly, you know? But hi guys, welcome back to the channel here today. It's so good to see you. You look, you look great. But yes, after a good like week of being away, I am back on the channel. Obviously, I work full time as an editor and I kind of have been taking like a step back just to kind of analyze what I want to do with my channel this year. But for today, we are going to be taking a look at a product that the whole entire G Fuel community has been waiting for for a very long time. I started drinking G Fuel pretty regularly around the summer of 2018 and one flavor that has always been talked about and really desired from the community has been a coffee flavor and lo and behold that's what we got here coming out in a couple days we have none other than G Fuel's French vanilla iced coffee flavor that is not released yet but G Fuel has sent me this to take a look at and review for you guys here on the channel today so shout out to Deathly and Cliff and all the guys at G Fuel who hooked me up with this I am gonna try it in some water and some almond milk just to let you guys know what I think about it I'll rate it 1 out of 10 and let you guys know if this is something you should be picking up or not when it comes out and it does come out on the 22nd of this month which is only a couple days away so that leads me into my shameless plug you guys can actually use code duck for 30% off all your G Fuel orders this week G Fuel's website has a ton of really cool products for you guys to choose from maybe you'll get a shaker cup maybe you get some starter packets maybe you'll go ahead and get a full tub which comes with 40 servings of your favorite G Fuel flavors you can use code duck not only just to save money but to help me out greatly as a content creator but without further ado let's move everything over to my mixing station mix it together let you know what I think so let's go ahead and get into it boom that was really a dramatic that was a dramatic end. this is the brand new French vanilla Ice Coffee G Fuel Collector's Box. Again, G Fuel never disappoints with the design of these things, but this one is very interesting in particular. It's like a very futuristic coffee shop look to it. I'm dropping it. They had this perfectly made formula, and they take the conveyor belt of coffee beans. They kind of convert it through the conveyor belt, moving down here, until ultimately they end up with the perfect concoction of coffee G Fuel. So let's rip it open. Maybe not that aggressively. First up out the box, we have the to-go travel scooper. These usually do come with every collector set. I have like 10 billion of them over here at this point. Next up, we have this Starbucks looking shaker cup. Very sleek and simple too. It didn't take too much. It's that same like darker green color mixed with the white. It looks like it's a legitimate Starbucks cup. You can just write your name right here and then people can misspell it. Like they always misspell mine and mispronounce mine. It's fine. I'm not even upset. And last but not least, the thing you guys all came here for today, the actual French vanilla iced coffee G Fuel flavor itself. You can see the design all the way throughout. It's very slick. I love how it has like the vanilla leaves all throughout with some ice cubes. Brown colorway with the coffee beans all throughout. So today we're going to try it in two different mixtures one with water and one with almond milk and I'm assuming the one with almond milk is probably going to be a little bit better so without further ado let's go ahead and open the seal up real quick you see it's got like a very pale grayish brown color to the powder we're gonna go ahead and open our shaker cups here I'm gonna fill this one with almond milk and this one with some water I'm gonna get just about that much for each of these pour one into here pour one into here and as you can see from the get-go the brown is consuming this cup it does actually look like some coffee not gonna lie all we have to do is take our shaker cups on the left and right and very gently and carefully shake, 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 and done. I can already smell the coffee aroma being so strong here. It smells like I'm standing in the middle of a coffee shop. They look good. They smell good. And the last thing to do is try them out. Let you guys know what I think. Let's move everything back over there and let's give it a go. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the brand new French vanilla coffee flavor by G Fuel. It's got a very like brown coffee like look to it. I can see it's got a lot of the foam up top too. It makes me wonder what's different about this formula that they've created for this powder in particular. It seems like they kind of almost did this on purpose. Which makes sense. Coffee usually has that foam right up top. Let's go ahead and pop them open. I can do this at the same time, I think. And, okay, well, that wasn't the best, but it was A, it was something. Wow, okay, well, well. <laughs> oh, this one smells really good. So off the bat, yeah, it smells like coffee. <laughs> I can smell it pretty good from here. Maybe I should get a little deeper in. No, that just really made my nose wet. <laughs> you guys want to smell it? Does it smell good? When I was in high school, my sister was dating this guy who owned a coffee shop, and this smells just like his coffee shop. They're still together. They're like, they're like married now. They didn't like break up. Everything's fine. Again, super highly anticipated for a very long time. As long as I've been involved with G Fuel, people have always wanted a coffee flavor of some sort. I've heard good things about it, but we're going to test it out for ourselves. I'll let you guys know what to think, so let's go ahead and give it a go. Let's try it with water first. Wow. <laughs> the flavor is very strong. It's very present. I can taste a lot of the vanilla. This really isn't like anything they've made so far for sure. And I think the foam is there on purpose too to give you the effect of like the foam on top of an actual cup of coffee. It feels just like that when it hits the top of your lip. I like this a lot in water. It's very gentle on the tongue. It's very soothing. Not at all overpowering whatsoever. That's good. I like that. But I just feel, I have this gut feeling that I'm going to like it a lot better in almond milk. You could try it with any other kind of milk. Cashew, almond, goat milk, breast milk. Maybe not the last one. Milk has that element of thickness that water just doesn't have. So I think we're going to see a little bit less of that lightness factor here. First one didn't disappoint. Hopefully this one doesn't either. Let's give it a go. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That's it right there. You did it. You know what they did? Probably they had like this round table meeting and Cliff probably passed it out with water first and everybody was like, 
Oh, it's pretty good. Then he passed around like a whole thing of it with milk. And everyone probably stood up and started clapping and cheering because this is exactly what we wanted. The flavor is way more present in milk. And you can see this kind of pattern happen with G Fuel flavors across a couple different flavors. Strawberry shortcake, like the cotton candy. Those are all flavors I feel like are optimized in milk. It brings out the flavor even more. And this is no different. This definitely gets enhanced. That vanilla texture comes out so much more when you put it in some almond milk. This is a lot thicker of a mixture. So it feels like you're taking in an actual sip of coffee, like iced coffee. There's no doubt in my mind that this is the single most optimized flavor for milk in general. It even kind of changes my perspective of how I see it in water. Yeah, it's just one of those things that like, when you drink this one, you can't go back to this one and think about it in the same way. But here's why I think this is a good idea for people out there, even if you do like to drink coffee normally. Why you should give G Fuel coffee a try is that it's quicker to make. You just take a little bit of almond milk with a scoop of powder, put it in, shake it, and you're good to go. Coffee might take a little bit longer to either have somebody prepare for you or for you at home to have to wait for the water to heat up and to pour out and then the little cake cup to come down. I definitely think number one, this is a great alternative for coffee if you're very busy and you're on the go. And another big problem you have with coffee is you have really bad coffee breath afterwards. And I'm not really getting that with this. I feel like as if the flavor is kind of very present while you're drinking it and then it dissipates pretty quickly after. You're left with the sweetness aftertaste, but the coffee isn't like resonating so strong within my mouth. So this might be a good alternative to you out there who hate coffee breath. This has a lot of good benefits. I definitely like it in milk a lot. So they really knocked it out of the park with the design of the box, the design of the shaker even. Look at this. It looks like an actual Starbucks cup right here. Not only does G Fuel have a very strong delivery with every release they've had, but they are straight up knocking out competitors left and right with just the amount of marketing they do, the design of their boxes, the community connection that they have. Everything about G Fuel is so great in the market space right now for energy drinks. I'm gonna go ahead and give a final rating of the two. I think if we were gonna be putting it in water, I'm gonna give this a six and a half out of 10. It was gonna be a little bit higher, but then I tried it with the milk and then it kind of lowered it a little bit, but I think it definitely is good for sure. When we go over to the milk side, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 9.5 out of 10. It is so, so good. And it's exactly what you could tell they were aiming for. I'm a big proponent of trying this one out. I think this is fantastic. If you like coffee, I can promise you will enjoy this if you have any kind of liking for coffee whatsoever. But yeah, that's basically everything I have to say about it. Again, G Fuel, thank you so much for sending it out to me. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video here today. It means a lot to have you all a part of the community. I know that I went a little quiet at the beginning of January here just because I want to assess the direction of my content going forward but um after some deliberating and some thinking and planning out some things i'm ready to start uploading some some cool stuff i think pretty soon so yeah i, I definitely recommend to get this flavor be on the lookout for everything new from me soon guys thank you so much for watching today you all are great and beautiful people hopefully you're smiling and having a great start to your own personal year if you haven't already and you don't mind doing so make sure you go ahead and drop a sub like man because that's a subscribe a like and a comment and as always i will see you in the next video